Hello everyone, welcome to my very first ever one block experience and you guys get to be along with the ride. Um, this was requested and here it is. So I'm not completely familiar with the entire concept um, I did read the there you know is an instruction manual and a chest at the beginning before you actually spawn onto your block <laughs> and I did read that so I mean I, 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 I do have an idea I mean it is Minecraft right um, do I need a pickaxe for this I probably do um, Okay, so we definitely get us a pickaxe made. Take our crafting table back. Yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely going to be a learning experience for me. Um, as I said, this is my. Wait a minute. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how that happened. Like I fell through the block. And I seem to have fallen through it again. Whoa. Okay. Um. Okay, now I have a water bucket. To be able to collect this cobblestone, I'm gonna have to break it with my fist. Uh, kind of disappointing that I did lose the pickaxe that I did have. Whoa, 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 whoa. How, how, how is this happening? <laughs> we are not going to make any progress at this rate. That's uh, three falls out of the world already, and um. I'm not sure how to prevent that. Am I going to be able to stand on this block and collect stuff? Yeah, it looks like I can. Okay, maybe that's the trick. Would have been useful if I had figured that out just a little bit sooner. You know, that's my bad. <laughs> Alright, so I think... We're just gonna. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Um, definitely don't need pressure plates. Let's put, I guess, our crafting table there. Let's go ahead and get us an axe. pickaxe and oh we can't get a shovel but the grass isn't so bad right so 
so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. I know we need to collect the materials to get to the end and that'll be how we're able to or to the materials to get to the nether and the end portal is in the nether. So that's uh that's what we're working toward at the moment. Should be able to make a shovel now. There we go. And we can actually upgrade our pickaxe here. Oops. Oh, because I crouched. Okay, but I was crouched this whole time. So I'm kind of understand, kind of don't. And I do see there's these all these little things for us to work our way to here. Um, I guess they're all over on this side. Except whatever that one block is over there that that skeleton spawned in on. Alright, so we can get us a stone pickaxe. That'll help things move around. Oh, help things move along a little bit quicker, I believe. Than just mining with the wooden one. And... We'll see how this goes. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything that I do off camera for this. Uh, oh, okay, so that's where the water bucket came from. There's actually, you get items from the chest uh, when you mine them. So, we've actually got a little bit of obsidian there for to go toward another portal. That's cool. Alright, we got some uh, sugar cane. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any off-camera stuff with this. Um, I don't think uh, this series would uh, go for anything. I, I haven't watched any one block series, so really I am... Um, pretty much free flow in this and you guys are along for the ride and I hope you enjoy it um, we're gonna see what kind of progress we can make and we'll just work on it you know a little bit at a time and eventually we'll get there how long will this series last um, I, I, I guess until we beat the dragon I mean that's the goal right um, at that point, we'll kind of see what's happening. Uh, if the game will let us continue, if we want to do like a, a, you know, a little tour, or you know, whatever our options are at that point, I, I honestly have no idea. But we are going to, and some of you may not have seen a one block either, um, so this may be all new to you as well. But this is definitely the trick. Do not stand on that one block because you will glitch through. <laughs> uh, this seems to be going much better. Uh, I wish I had... If I had watched any one block worlds, I probably would have known that. I probably could have done like a little test world and got a feel for it before I started recording. But I thought, where would the fun be in that? And so you guys are watching me learn right here live. Well... It's not necessarily live, but uh, for you. But um, I'm learning right here on camera on the fly, and we're gathering up some pretty decent resources here. Uh, we got quite a few chests, and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade these tools. I don't see any reason in holding on to those. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh. oh, I wasn't crouched that whole time. I'm glad I didn't move anywhere. There we go. So, let's uh, 
get that stuff out of our way. So we definitely want an axe and a shovel. Uh, don't know if it's worth making another pickaxe. I don't know how fast we'll come across iron. We've gotten two water buckets already, so we could have an infinite water source, uh, which is nice. We have enough obsidian for another portal. If we do not have any flint or any iron yet, but uh, I'm not sure if that's how that works in this or not either. So that's something that we'll find out at another time. It would be interesting. Oh, we got a bee spawned out. Um, got no lead or anything to put him on. No flowers to draw him in. But we definitely got a bee. So, I think this uh, being the first episode, we're going to just kind of mine the blocks here for a few minutes and I'm not going to do a whole lot because I want you guys to decide where do we build out to first one two three four five six or seven um, I'm going to let you guys decide that. And you can let me know in the comments below. And we'll go from there. Um, right now, I guess it's like early game grind. You know, you got to get those resources to get what you need. Oh, we got a lava bucket. Uh, we could get a portal lit. Well, if, if they light like that in the one block, I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, but the question is, do they go, does it go anywhere? Um, or is there a portal at one of these places that I have to go to? Not 100% sure. We will find that out in due time. Um, I do believe, though, if going to the nether is where the end portal is at, I would like to see what these other things are. I'm not sure what uh, oh, over here. I'm not sure what that blocks all about, um, but we'll get over there too. But I would like to see what these things are possibly before we worry about going to the Nether. I mean, we're not trying to speed run the world or anything. It's all about the experience and having fun, and you guys getting to watch uh, me learn what I'm doing here as we go. Um, that's pretty much what it boils down to so uh, let me know in the comments below you know one through seven where do we go first and we will make that happen might take a little bit of work but I mean we are getting a pretty decent amount of uh, resources here so I mean they do add up quite quickly an ocelot um, Let's make a little bit more of an island here. Give that cat some room so we're not pushing him off or anything. plenty of dirt to do it we do have some sugar cane to grow also and we have water and stuff it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and get us a little sugar cane farm right um, you know what let's uh let's take one of these other chests that we have here And make this one a little bit bigger and as far as 
sugar cane farm goes, we don't want it to end up possibly being in the way, even though we can move it, I suppose. Um, but I think it would probably be best if we put it like right back here somewhere. And then we can expand out for it. So let's um, oh, did I run out of dirt? I did. All right. Um, We'll get some more dirt. So we've got gotten we found a bee and an ocelot, which is really cool. Oh, more sugar cane. I feel like this bee is just going to get right in the way and get hit. On accident, of course. All right, a little bit more dirt. So we're going to do this number right here. So we are going to make a little infinite water source here. And we're going to go ahead and plant our sugar cane. right there like that and I would like to get started with a little bit of a pathway around this you know I mean obviously we'll have to expand this out to make it bigger but we want to be able to get around it also without falling out of the world so if this was a hardcore one block, I would have been gone right out the gate uh, a couple times. <laughs> so luckily that's not the case. I haven't had any hunger issues yet either, which is great. Getting all kinds of wood types. Another lava bucket. Probably build us some pretty cool stuff out here. And the whole concept is you're just getting everything from this one block. So you're not having to hunt down the different wood biomes and things like that that you would have to do in traditional Minecraft but you do have a lot more of a challenge to make things look good because we do want things to look good also I mean we're not just gonna um, throw things together like we are right now uh, right now we're just kind of 
trying to make it work <laughs> and it's kind of like a learning process right at the moment also so we can take our dirt now yeah I definitely don't want to be uncrouched I am not that comfortable and I am a little too clumsy at this game for such things especially here lately I haven't exactly had the uh, the best track record lately it's like I'm going through one of them stages I suppose where I've died a little more than I would like and a little more than I'm used to So I think we'll get our sugarcane farm squared away, a nice little nice little two wide path around it. And see if we can get it looking a little bit better. Um, and that'll probably be all all we really get to this episode, other than you know all this uh, resource gathering that we're doing here so let me know what you guys think about it um, what you would like to see in our one block world I mean other than the uh, glitching through the block instead of you know creating a platform for myself <laughs> um, I would say we're not off to a bad start but I really don't know seems like that sugar cane's taking forever to grow though like to get a little bit of a um, leeway going around this one block here also I mean we know exactly where it's at it's a uh, diagonal center of our crafting table and our chest Got a sheep joining in on the fun. We have to be careful not to make, uh, not to make too big of a platform here. We don't have any light sources. I mean, I could put down some lava, but it seems like that would be a little bit dangerous with the animals running around if we're planning on keeping them up here to add life to the area I almost want to build like a some kind of uh, mining structure around this thing but the way the animals pop out of it too it seems like it might could get a little bit cluttered if I were to do such a thing I'll have to take that into consideration what do you guys think a uh, little mining camp right here with uh, maybe an open entrance to it I mean we can take this thing up I mean this could be like the base of the world where we come down to the bottom of the world and mine I mean this can all be built up uh, we have a lot of lot of options here I mean we can completely design this world how we want with the exception of the existing structures and of course the limitations of the blocks available in the game and the luck that we have getting them <laughs>
looks like we got some more sugar cane there. No, actually, I want that sugar cane, don't I? I can go ahead and plant it over here and have it growing as well, which could prove to be very useful. Actually, technically not sure how useful sugarcane is in one block but I do know that we can get sugar from it which depending upon what we come across may be useful the only thing that I'm really worried about is we are on hard mode right and I'm a little bit worried because of the fact that we have no food um, we do have this sheep that yeah we could get a meal out of you know some lamb chops but after that if nothing else is coming we could be in trouble especially even though we're not really moving around and we're in one spot we are doing a lot of mining which will run down our hunger really quick uh, maybe not so quick in this I'm um, uh, you know compared to the regular minecraft I'm not you know sure about that but still at some point hunger is going to be an issue because there are hunger bars so that's something that we got to think about and get situated as well. So a source of sugar, um, maybe if we had some chickens and you know some pumpkins, then we can make pumpkin pies with the eggs and the, you know, you guys know the recipe. Um, we just, I guess we'll just see how it goes. Or maybe enough sheep to come out, I can just farm the sheep and keep my hunger satisfied that way uh, we only need two sheep and some luck with some uh, wheat or seeds if we could get some bone mill we could uh, create our own seeds let's uh go ahead and expand out our platform a little bit more here I think if we can get it out right to here all the way across that would be a good little goal for this episode I'm not sure, I mean with no cuts or anything, and I haven't actually been watching the clock, I'm not sure how long we've actually been going, but I don't want to go too long, so, whoa, <laughs> I almost made that one mistake again, well I did make that mistake, I just didn't glitch through like I could have, and we are picking up quite a bit of obsidian. So we may be able to do several things with that. Yeah, the night, uh, the night being here, we definitely still do not want to make our platform big enough for mobs to be able to spawn on it with us. We have no armor. Uh, we do have an axe. I mean, we could defend ourselves with an axe, but we have no no armor, so we have no protection. Now, there's a chance we could get some leather. A chance for a couple pieces. Um, I don't know how far that'll go for us, though. Yeah. Oh, and we got a fox now. This is interesting. Our island's filling up another bee. 
If we could get a bee nest, that would be great. Some flowers to lure the bees up this way would even help. I think I want to try and get just a little bit more dirt. And, that, and then we'll see how many pieces were short. We're about worn through our first set of stone tools here. Oh, some more sugar cane. These chests are proven very valuable with the resources that we're given. I mean, we were able to make an infinite water source. We got us a cow. There's another mill, you know. I mean, technically, I mean, I guess we could we could have been building all this out of uh, cobblestone. I mean, we don't, we don't have silk touch, so we can't get regular stone. But it might have made a little more sense for our foundation if we're going to build the island up. Um, and this be like an in-ground area. Um, it might have been made a little more sense for it to be stone down here. But we could always cover it with stone too, later. That way from the outside it looks like, you know, dirt. I mean, I suppose if it was a floating island, which it is, uh, it would have dirt surrounding the outside of it. And it not just uh, necessarily uh, the stone that's in the middle, right? So that's one thing to take into consideration. And that's if that's what we decide to do. You guys let me know your thoughts and your opinions. We got us uh, quite a few little, almost like a little farm going here of sorts with all these animals and some more water buckets and things. All right, well. I hope you guys enjoy the new series. Uh, you know, this is... We're just getting started. We've got a lot to do, a long ways to go. And it's going to be a learning curve for me. Because, I, again, this is... This is my first one block experience, period. <laughs> I have not watched any videos on it. I have not played it. I have no idea um, how these things go. Other than the little bit of information from the description... Uh, from the package in the Play Store and the book that was provided in the chest at the beginning. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're not already, subscribe. You can see this and many other, uh, you know, regular Minecraft videos. And if you ring the bell, you'll never miss out on a single episode. And I'll see each and every one of you in the next video.